Welcome back and hello if you are new to the channel. The dark side of the AI industry. AI is no longer future tech, it's now. It drives what you see, how you work, even where you travel. But for all its brilliance, AI raises urgent questions. Who watches the watchers? Who owns your data, and can we trust a machine that can't explain itself? Today we go deep, uncovering the laws shaping AI, the logic behind its decisions, and the privacy battles erupting across the globe. In our last video, we explored the serious risks of AI, from bias to deepfakes. But the story doesn't end there. Today, we're diving into the solutions. How can we make AI more transparent, protect our privacy with new laws, and what do the experts say about the best way forward? As AI grows fast, lawmakers race to catch up. The EU AI Act is the most advanced effort yet, classifying AI into risk categories, banning social scoring, and requiring transparency from developers. The UK's approach? Flexible and light touch, no sweeping regulation, but sector-based principles like the fast-track framework, fairness, accountability, sustainability, and transparency. In the United States, AI legislation is fragmented. Some states enforce strict biometric privacy laws, others barely mention AI. Take Clearview AI, they scraped billions of online photos, building a global facial recognition database without permission. Europe hit back with fines. Lawsuits are still playing out in the US. Why did the AI reject your loan? Recommend that job? Flag your passport photo? In many cases, we don't know. That's where explainable AI, or XAI, comes in. XAI uses tools like SHAP and LIME to break down decisions, showing which features mattered most, and why the system acted the way it did. XAI is about building AI that can justify its own decisions in a way humans can understand. A great example is in medicine. An AI model might predict a high risk of cancer, but with XAI, it can also highlight the specific pixels or data points on an image that led to that conclusion. A practical application of XAI would be in finance, XAI could explain why a loan application was rejected, allowing a human to review for potential biases. In healthcare, finance, and justice, it's not just helpful. It's essential. An example of where XAI would have been beneficial would be DeepMind's partnership with the NHS that raised eyebrows. While developing diagnostic tools, they accessed thousands of patient records, with little transparency on how those systems made decisions. If you are liking the video so far please feel free to like and subscribe. AI runs on data, from your face to your voice, even your pause between words. Facial recognition cameras, predictive policing tools, and voice assistants all pose privacy risks. But not everyone agrees AI is the enemy. Some say it can protect privacy, with techniques like differential privacy that scramble individual data, or federated learning that keeps info local. An example would be South Wales Police's facial recognition trials were ruled unlawful, they lacked safeguards and disproportionately targeted minorities. Meanwhile, AI startups like Virtue AI are championing privacy-first models, giving users control and clarity. These aren't hypotheticals, Clearview AI scraped without consent, DeepMind faced backlash over NHS data, Rite Aid's facial recognition unfairly targeted certain groups. British Airways AI-driven systems were breached, exposing customer data. The message? When AI goes unchecked, privacy and trust suffer. So how do we fix this? Laws help, but tech must reflect values too. The European Union AI Act sets enforceable standards. The UK fast-track principles offer practical guidance. Developers are being asked not just can we build this, but should we? Ethical frameworks like some values and trustworthy AI toolkits help creators embed fairness, transparency, and human-centered design. AI is the most powerful tool humanity has ever built, and the most misunderstood. Regulating it isn't about fear, it's about responsibility. So what do you think? Should AI be legally required to explain its decisions? Is your data safer with machines, or more exposed? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't miss the next episode. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you next time as we explore deeper into AI.